Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry for not posting for so long. I have been so busy. I am currently moving right now. We're in the midst of about to move. So once I do this video, I'm going to be trying to push out as much content as I physically can. The Sims 4 came out with a brand new expansion pack the other day <laughs> called The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Now I wanted to do a bunch of videos with the pack when it came out. Since I'm really busy right now, I just figured I would make a review and pack it all into like one video. So I've done reviews before, but I have never done one on an expansion pack. So just so just bear with your girl and uh, <laughs> let's go through the pack and I will let you guys know on my thoughts. All right, so let's just get into it. So the first thing that you're greeted with is this picturesque Arizona inspired world. There are three different neighborhoods and 13 different lots. The world is also designed to be quite open for your Sims and your horses, which I'm very happy about. So obviously it makes sense that we need more room for our horses to be, you know, taking rides out with them. This world has so much going on as well. So there's like scenic trails, there's general stores that you can buy like mini goats and sheep and change your clothes and all that fun stuff. There's competition centers, bars, pastures, caves, and more. So there is a lot. And I think my favorite spot in the world has to be the waterfalls. The layering of the rocks match with like the sun glistening off the water that shines from a faint rainbow. It's it's just so pretty. I think it's so adorable. But like, when I look at this, I'm like, unicorn. But this is where I'm supposed to see one, and it's just not there. I'm so sad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. The horse competition center is like the main hub for this desert map. It's open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It is a rabbit hole, but this is where you'll be able to train, buy, rescue, and sell your horses. For the competitions, it will only be one horse a day. So if you have one horse, it will be one competition per day. If you have a bunch of horses, then each one can do one per day, if that makes sense. But if you don't feel like bringing your horse to the center and paying the money, then maybe you'll enjoy a different option of riding styles with your horses through the long trails through the world. And if you're out for a really long time, don't worry, there are a bunch of outhouses and bushes to relieve your sims and your horses. But I mean, your horse will be fine though. I mean, it's a horse. They'll probably just go anywhere. <laughs> While you're exploring Chestnut Ridge, you might come across the community boards. So these boards will have like information regarding horses, farm hands, events, animal ranch exchange, residents, and competitions that you can enter for your horse. But before you're even eligible to enter any of the horse competitions, your horse and yourself have to achieve your skills in riding, jumping, endurance, and agility. So when you're riding around, you might want to stop and take advantage of the many barrels and jumps around town. And the great thing is, is that some equipment will be right beside your house so you don't even have to travel far. All of them are spread all over the world as well. So pretty much everywhere you go, they're going to be there for you. There are, there are so many. <laughs> I think you'll be okay. Okay. So as you're kind of bouncing around the world trying to figure out how to even ride this four legged creature underneath you, you might come across some really interesting spots. Now, some of this world has a lot of lore. I feel like there is a lot of things that are going on that they don't really talk about, but if you explore the place, you can see so much. You might also come across an old cave or two. The detail that goes into those caves is actually really impressive and it's so much fun to do. I won't tell you anything. I won't spoil anything for you. I do suggest to go find it. Oh, and there's also a general store that I think I mentioned back before. And this is kind of where you want to purchase your sheep, your mini goats. Also, from across the street, you can also change your outfits or plan your outfits as well. I actually had a lot of fun playing with Cass. She got party in the front, she got party in the back. <laughs> that is like done up with an anklet. Don't forget it. The country fashion really made me feel at home. Oh, my cowboy hats. My whole family is all country folks, so this is, I'm, I feel right at home. I, I really do. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my aunt. This is my aunt. <laughs> this is my aunt, everyone. Say hello. Say hello, Jamie's aunt. Hi, Jamie's aunt. Like, <laughs> this is my grandfather on a very special occasion. Um, so everybody say hi, Simpsons grandfather. Hi, Simpsons grandfather. Everyone, meet my mother. I'm sorry, I should stop. I could go on though. I really could. Okay, I love the dirty style, but you know he's the real deal, especially when there's dirt on it, because then you know that he, I don't know, he he sweats a lot, I don't. <laughs> if you don't have one that has like a bit of green and a little bit of brown, are you even like, 
Are you even a farmer, bro? I would take you seriously in that hat. Like, you look like you, you know a couple of things that I don't, clearly. So, it's quite large. No? Is that, is that what they're normally supposed to look like? Is Are they supposed to be that big? Hmm. It looks like I'm, <laughs> it looks like I'm trying to find a criminal. Like, is this the woman you're looking for? <laughs> my first place ribbon on my ears. The staple of like a plaid shirt with anything. Like you think this shirt is just a, a random crop top? No, boom, you're a farmer. You think you're just going to the beach on an everyday with like the tie ups? No, 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 no. Boom, you're a farmer. This is like farmer, but like, do I have to, Ulu? You know what I'm saying? This is my work outfit and everyone's like, that is not your work outfit. <laughs> Some of the outfits were a bit questionable though. Like look how cut and clean those like pockets are compared to like these pockets. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it looks a little sloppy on this one. I'm just gonna say. I was really impressed by the variety of clothing that you could have. Like the options were really broad. You know who I could see wearing this? Little Simsy. <laughs> I pressed on the makeup and I was like, whoa, that's <laughs> what this horse ranch about. I work in an auto body shop. That is what I'm getting. <laughs> there is a big variety of clothing for your Sims to wear. And it's from like dirty to <laughs> fancy equestrian to cute ranch outfits. There's so much to customize. Your Sims also get two brand new traits and two new aspirations. The Championship Rider and the Nectar Maker, and there are two new traits which are the Rancher and the Horse Lover. The Horse Cast is so amazing with up to 30 breeds to choose from. Not to mention the color wheel with new stamps and patterns, you really can create the horse of your dreams. I mean, minus magical unicorns. You can make unicorns, but like, they're not the same. And there are a bunch of little outfits that you can create for your horse. And you can choose different saddles, blankets, bows, braids, etc. There is so much to choose from. And as a horse, you can also create foals. The customization is quite good. Uh, you can also choose your own breed. Or if you get two horses, you can breed a baby foal, which can be a mixture of the two breeds. The blankets they can put on them, all that fun stuff. Even like a tiny cute little unicorn horn for them. <laughs> it's so cute. Horses in foals also have a bunch of new traits. You can choose certain traits for your foals in cast, but if you breed them out in the gameplay, your foal might actually get a very unique trait. The amount of customization that it comes to the horses itself is amazing. And I think it is really cool that like when you put the horn on the horse, it does kind of make like a poof sound and it, it's cute. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at the build and buy. I actually really like them. I thought that they were really, really cool. So let's take a look. All right, so first up you get some new wallpapers and some new flooring, eight new doors and 13 new windows, four new columns, two new spandrels, new shutters, an awning, three new roof details, three trees, a horseshoe grass kind of sculpture, a new bush, some grass, some rocks, four new fences, four new gates, two new stairs with some railings, this little bucket of water feature thing, it's cute, four new terrain tool colors, and you do get a new foundation, two new counters, one cabinet, one new sink, a new curtain, three new plants, a bunch of little miscellaneous things, some prairie grass, a hay feeder, a water trough, a horse bed, a ball to play with, new barrels and jump equipment, one new wall light, and six hanging lights, three base game lights, a bunch of new seats for your sims to pop a squat, <laughs> a new outhouse, a new bush, a shower and tub, a new mirror, two new paintings, three different rugs, new tables, beds, wardrobes, we got some more tables, a new radio, two new fireplaces, more miscellaneous stuff, three new archways, a trailer, a new bar, I just want to put like the front and back because it looked really cool, a new wall decor, four signs that are unlock with level 10 of each skill that your horse can learn, more wall stuff, unlock riding skill level 10, little plaque, three new dance floors, two new instruments, a community board, a nectar making station, a nectar barrel, 
doll, a bunk bed, a pot, a cute, adorable little dollhouse, a barbecue, and some more random decor. Okay, so let's talk about horses themselves. Your main focus with these horses are going to be the skills that they learn over time. Obviously, we just want to enjoy them as they are, but the real fun is practicing the skills so that your horse can win competitions, and then they can brag to all the other horses. So there are four main skills that your horse needs to learn. So there's a temperament, which is basically taking care of them, like feeding them, brushing them, riding, scratching them, socializing with them, etc. You know what I'm saying. You gotta make them feel loved. They just, they just want the love. Your second skill is agility. Horse barrels that I was talking about that are all over the world, those are a great way for your horse to gain skills fast. Jumping is also something that is a thing. And they might even get sad that they didn't do well, but over time your horses and yourself will gain skills so that you're more confident. And lastly is endurance, which is basically taking your horse for rides around the map. At first your horse will be quite slow and not be confident, but after a while your horse will go a lot faster. Reading is also something that you can do. If you have a good enough relationship with your horse, you can encourage your four-legged friend to breed with a different horse. When the horse does get pregnant though, she will be pregnant for about two days. And then the foal kind of like appears or like ascends. I guess like out of nowhere. <laughs> if the parents of a foal are two separate breeds, then the foal will be a mix. And some of those traits of the parents will be passed down to the foal. And if you wanna buy any adult horse or foal from the animal exchange or the equestrian center, it will both be 1,000 simoleons. Or if you wanna rescue one for 250, and then kinda gamble what traits you might end up with. And if the horses do have any special skills, it will bring the price up just a little bit. Funny enough, I think my favorite thing about this expansion pack is probably the mini goats and the mini sheep. When you call the animal exchange or head over into the general store, you get a very wide, a very wide selection of these adorable little creatures. I think it is so weird that the fact that they start off in your inventory and you kind of just like plop them down is I don't know why, I think it is so funny. So these little sheep and goat also function like the cows and llamas and chickens from Cottage Living. So those guys can free roam around. All they need is basically to just keep them clean and happy and fed so that they don't get taken away. You can also shear your sheep for wool for money or you can collect it and then you can also stitch with the wool that like the mini sheep gets you. And you can also milk your little mini goat. It's so cute. They can also be a really great help with gardening. I personally didn't have a garden. I just asked my sheep if she could like help me out with my prairie grass and she said yes because we're we're BFFs. There is such a cute little addition to the game and the interactions are actually precious. <laughs> I guess speaking of prairie grass, this stuff pops up like everywhere. It's literally like that bad weed that just doesn't go away. I guess basically like this grass is your life force for your horses. You can cut the grass when it gets long and then fill the feeders or you can hand feed them. One of my horses only liked being hand fed and then she would get sad if I didn't. You can also obtain a loot from cutting this grass as well. Sometimes I would get nectar, sometimes I would get like other little goodies and it's a really great way to like get some free simoleon if anything. The other thing is that you need to clean and maintain these horses poop. Now girl they poop so much. So much. Literally all the time. And the fertilizer that you pick from them can be in different quality depending on your horse's mood, health, or even like its state. So next up on our list are foals. First off, okay, their animations are so freaking adorable. These guys will be a handful, but I will do literally anything for them. They'll have no physical skills like agility or endurance. Instead, the temperament skill will be the one that you're gonna have to work on. Making sure they're sleeping, drinking, feeding, playing. For horses, they love the balls. Like, playing on the balls, that's literally all they did all day. We're also gonna have to teach them how to eat out of the feeders, which might take a little bit, but they do end up getting it. Also, make sure to take good care of them so that they possibly get a bonus trait when they age. So, this new expansion pack came with two new events. So, two new social events that you can do on your phone. Now, the first one is a ranch gathering. So, that includes, like, grilling, dancing, drinking nectar, and, like, socializing. Animal Ranch Day is 
when a bunch of like random Tammonies come to your house and they basically just like play with your pets. Your house turns into like a petting zoo. That's basically what it is and it's really fun to watch. You can finish it with a gold or silver and these events are quite easy. There were so many people. <laughs> these people will come and they'll also pay you money after you do it if they had a good time. It's literally like a petting zoo. I think it is so cute when your horse is dancing along to the music as well. <laughs> They're just grooving out. All right, and lastly, nectar. Now, nectar is probably what we know as like wine or something, but of course, being The Sims, it has to be called nectar. And this nectar is a brand new skill that your Sims can slowly work on. And this skill for me, when I was doing it, it took so long, but it does take a while. So these new recipes for the nectar, you'll unlock brand new recipes every time you unlock another level. You'll also receive new recipes when you do the nectar more often. And you can also plant your own fruit and use for your nectar. Or you can also just buy the ingredients that are right on the menu. Now at first the nectar won't be worth too too much, but if you put it in the little racks that they store in, they will age over time and their price will also increase over time. Now a great way that I found and I heard a little bit about is that if you put your nectar in the basement, it is when it can kind of age the best because it's kind of like in that like cold, dry, dark areas, I guess. And a weird thing that you can do, but of course it's not weird because it's a Sims, you can also make your nectar out of trash. Um. <laughs> So that's a thing. Okay, now for my final thoughts. Now, this pack was so much fun and I thought it was really, really cool. Obviously, a lot of people were saying that they wanted horses a lot earlier and like in the cats and dogs, it feels like it would have been too smushed together. And I think that it actually was pretty good that the horses were by themselves. I do wish that they did add unicorns inside of it. I won't stop you there. I do wish we did, but I still think, and I'm happy that they at least added something so that we can kind of use our imaginations and kind of pretend like they're there. But I mean, girl, you gotta, you don't make a, a pretty waterfall rainbow escape and not expecting me to be like, where the unicorns at? Like, <laughs> other than that, I really did like this pack. I find that it was a little bit glitchy when I try to do things with my horses. And I don't know if that's just personally my game or I was getting a lot of glitches here and there, but every time I tried to do something with my horse, they would just sit there and like stare at each other and not do anything. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it doesn't do to anyone else's game. I love love the amount of detail that they took in with the animations. I'm sure it took them so long. $40, $50 for an expansion pack is a lot. I would probably say if you don't need it, but you want it, I would say just wait for it to go on sale. That's when you can really like save your money. And they do go on sale quite often, obviously not right now because it is brand new. But for me, when I saw it, I immediately bought it. And even if I wasn't doing YouTube, I probably would still buy it immediately. So it is kind of personal preference. I can't really say what you can't and can't do or what you don't and do like. I don't want to do anything like that. So if you feel like you do like this pack after watching the reviews of everyone else and myself, if you're able to watch this all the way through, just let your girl know what you what you think of the pack because I would love to know. And I would love to know if you did pre-order it to get the, the items or are you just waiting for it to go normally on, on the website? I say that I get my approval on this guy. I do really like it. And if you do too, then you should get it. But if you guys did like this video, maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing. I'm so freaking sorry that I did not post for about 11. I think this is going to be my 11th day. Oh, <laughs> I've never gone that long before. I have been stressed out so much. I have been recently moving uh, soon. So my house is up for sale currently and we have just been like unpacking. I've been so stressed out. So I hope that you guys can understand but I have a list. I already am looking at it right now. I have like five things already that I was even thinking about. So I hope that you guys stay tuned for that. And if you did like this video, maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing. And uh, yeah, I will see you all later. Bye guys.